undocumented individuals in the United States today. It is ridiculous for anyone to think that we can deport 11 million people who pick our farms to feed us. I also want to say this. I do not believe that a woman or a man who cross a border, who are in the desert for seven days with one gallon of water, and look up this fact that I'm going to tell you right now, 90% of the women that cross are raped when they're crossing the border. I do not believe that that is a crime to come here when they're looking for food, when they're looking for safety. That is not a crime. We have so many, we have so many criminals in the United States right now that are rapists, that are murderers, and they are not severely punished. But you take five people who go to work every single day and you stop them just because of their skin color. There is something wrong with that. There's something wrong with their this system. We do not, we are not going to stand for that. No one should be stopped based on their color of their skin. My daughter, my daughter Mila was with her boyfriend down Ridge Road. They stopped her. Her boyfriend is white. Who did they ask for the ID? My daughter. There's something wrong with this system. And we're not going to stand for this anymore. We're not. I don't know. I do not know what the solution is. I really don't know. But deporting 11 million people is not the answer. You know what? And I want to say this. I want to make America great. I do. I want to make America great. And the only way that America can be great is by all of us being united together. Thank you. Thank you.